We are seeing an alarming increase in domestic violence cases in our area, many of them deadly. And sadly, we are reporting yet on another one tonight. Rochelle Salazar was shot and killed in the East Harris County home that she shared with her husband, Billy Warford. He is now charged with her murder. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers joins us live. And Brittany, it's been a troubling past few weeks. Yeah, Dominique, I've reported on several of these tragedies and all of the families that we've spoken with in this case are, are heartbroken. Their lives are forever changed. Now, I can tell you in this particular case, the most recent one, the family tells me that they lost a daughter, a sister. She was a mother, and they say that her death was senseless. They end up having troubles. Abel Salazar says he doesn't know what to say. He doesn't have the words when his two-year-old granddaughter asks for her mother. It's, it's tough when she's asking for her. He got the call Tuesday morning that his oldest daughter, Rochelle, had been shot and killed. The suspect was her husband and the child's father, Billy Warford. Like a senseless act of violence there. And Warford went before a judge this morning, and according to prosecutors, the couple got into a fight earlier in the day when Rochelle accused him of having an affair. And when she left the home, the defendant went and smoked meth and the garage. Prosecutors say when Warford returned, he asked Rochelle for his phone and found her inside of the bathroom with a gun. He stated that he was trying to push the gun away and she was pulling it back when it somehow went off. Fought, but he didn't think it would turn violent. Tragically, this last seven days, we've seen six uh, homicides related to domestic violence. It is horrible. What I want people to know and understand is this violence is preventable. You can recognize it. The CEO of the Houston Area Women's Center says that in 2018, Houston saw an alarming increase. They say that one in five homicides were tied to domestic violence. Domestic abuse is about power and control. So the kinds of things to look for are, is, uh, are if a person uh, is isolating, if they're feeling, if it looks like they're having to be able to be checking in all the time, if it looks like they are afraid. Warford is currently being held without bond. Now, one thing that the Houston Area Women's Center re reiterated is if you are trying to help a loved one out of a difficult situation, they say it's important to reiterate that it isn't their fault and that there is help available. They said that all of their on all of their hotlines, excuse me, are free and confidential. We're live in the Highlands. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.